Hi, Libra Seeker. Welcome back to the existential shift or gain. Um, if you're a newcomer, welcome to your new home. Um, this will be your monthly tarot scope for October, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, any placement you resonate with. A uh, special month for us, for myself and for you, my seeker. Um, there's a live Q&A with me, uh, live chat on October 10th, 1010. And you'll just get to ask me questions about energy, spirituality, whatnot. Um, so I'm really looking forward to talking with you guys. Uh, live and in honors of this month I also did a special for uh, private reading so you can check in the information box below um, what I'm offering and how you can have it <laughs> um, globally internationally I do all over okay with that said I already mixed and shuffled the cards a little bit before I press play Oliver, can you sit? Can be quiet? <laughs> my dog. Okay. October for my Libra. Libra season. My moon is in Libra. You would think it brings us Libra moon um, emotional balance. It always puts us in a place where we seek emotional balance, aka we can be perfectionists when it comes to how we feel and how we expect our counterpart to feel and our environment to feel. And we always like the emotional realm to be um, resonating with truth and high ideals. And that's not always easy. So it always also might cause frustrations, right? Sometimes you have to fight for peace struggle for harmony that's a uh, counterintuitive okay october libra this is the londa towel by the way in case you're curious i'll write it down in the information box first card three of wands well it, it was also at the bottom of the deck when i was shuffling like i, I took a glimpse at it so it wants to be here so three of wands I really like it and I'll tell you why I mean there are allegedly better cards nine of cups ten of pentacles the star and all that you know starry hoo-ha three of wands is very real it's very tangible it's very um you, you can reach and grab it the um the understanding of what is and what should what you want how you want it's a very calm um, aspect of the will, of our will, where we know where we want to be, we have the ability to be there, and it just makes sense. Three of Wands is acknowledgement of where we're at and what we have and what we want. Um, you know, the positive major kind of requires uh, emotional work and spiritual journeys, but Three of Wands is here. Next, the Fool, speaking of <laughs> high-regarded uh, Major Arcana, the Fool is the, it, it's you, it's the Seeker. It's all of us that we go through the journey of the Tarot. It's the ultimate sense of freedom and liberation. It's If you really want to go far, it's liberation from this physical form. It's the soul, it's the spirit, really, really in tune with itself, and it's following its own path, the path of the heart. And this is a great combination. Someone was really liberated of their environment's um, perception of what they should or shouldn't do. They are really in tune with their sense, with their will, with their passion, with their road. And they have no fear. It's like, this is the road that I want to take. And I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to walk it. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go there. Um, this is a great combination of, on one hand, with the Fool, we have this new start, new opportunity that can be really unknown. We don't know. You know, the Fool in the Rider Waite deck and most decks, even here, you can see he's almost sleeping off the edge of a cliff. So it seems really unreasonable and you don't know if you're going to land or if you're going to, if you're going to fall flat on your face or if you're going to fly. Risk taking, right? But the Three of Wands brings with it a lot of, uh, 
a sense of knowing things are going to be okay. It's a um, calculated risk. Maybe it's a type of risk that you have taken before. It's something new, but with familiarity. You're really anticipating and are excited for something that is different and new yet familiar. Please comment how you resonate with this because it's interesting. It's a little bit, uh, there's a little bit of duality in what I'm saying. And even though the fool on its own isn't necessarily calming because it's, it's, it's a risk, it's a new journey, it's something new, it's, it's, it's a tabula rasa, clean slate, and it's not always fun to have all the options available to you because it can also get overwhelming, but this one feels calm. I really like this energy for you, Libra. Nothing to balance when there's nothing. <laughs> right? The zero. The fool is everything and is the nothing. He relies and depends on nothing. And yeah, you see the black and white here. The oppositions that require balance. But its number is the zero, okay? They operate, the extremities, the oppositions operate together uh, with synchronicity and with harmony. So some of you are reaching balance between your different forces and you're finding your, you're, you're finding your, um, your sense of, uh, of expression, kind of, um, you're, you're liberated with your self-expression. Some of you are really tapping into how you like to dress. Uh, what, what, what kind of habits you like to have, what you like to eat. You, you're really finding yourself um, behaving in accordance to what is really inside. So there's, you know, there's harmony between within and the without and in the above and in the below, which is something Libra really likes. Okay, Libra, let's keep going. That's a lot. Seven minutes for two cards. Welcome to the existential shift. We go deep. Okay. Page of Cups in the reverse. Okay. A new element is entering the reading. Not so balanced, emotionally balanced aspect. Maybe someone exterior to you that is trying to get your attention, uh, take you off track, um, put doubt and fear into you, mostly potentially emotional guilt. Why would you take this journey? Why would you do these things? How will it affect me? What will it do to me? And so on and so on. Um, some of you really want to free yourself from something that is emotionally exhausting. And... Some of you are either refusing an emotional offer or you're making an emotional offer and it is refused or was recently. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, something emotional that you have put investment in um, is not getting to where you thought it will get or you expected it to go to. And because it wasn't stable. You know, the, the, the emotional expression wasn't balanced. The seeds that were sown weren't planted right. Either they were off season or the job that was, that was done wasn't good. There wasn't balance between enough water uh, ratio to earth ratio, to sun ratio, whatever, to the plants that you were trying to have grow in your life. And this is like, there has to be a sense of inner wholesome, wholeness, inner wholeness inside of you, Libra. When there's no balance in you, it makes you sick. And if something isn't done right or expressed right or received right, it's not right. 
Page of Cups and Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. Yes, a loss of something. Five of Swords, Eight of Swords. Okay. Someone really, 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 really needs to let go. Someone is being... Here, I want you to see this. This could be you. This could be someone in your life that you're dealing with. This is exhausting. This is fighting windmills. This is a, a frail victory, like really, who says the, the last word that comes from um, a lot of victim play, role play, a lot of um, guilt and shame and really wanting to stay in that place, almost using it as a tool to make the other person feel like, like they're owed. No one owes anything. Count your losses and set yourself free. If you have invested in something and lost money, don't stay in that place. Definitely not emotionally. Don't um, try to fix it just to heal your ego, just to help your ego. What's done is done. Don't stay in there. If you ordered a meal and you already paid for it and it's disgusting and you're allergic to it, don't shove it down your throat by force just because you already paid for it. It's going to make you sick. Let it go. Or have someone else let go of you. I don't know. A lot of the seed hiding, manipulation. I don't like all this thing here. Um, someone is playing a dirty game and here's the thing these this emotional type of tactics type of game it's not something on the surface it's not the 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 jerk that doesn't answer your calls it's the person that it, honestly it's the sociopath it's the narcissist it's the bipolar that one second behave like they're amazing and then another second behave like they're psycho and it's like and then they make you feel bad over it and it's like you know turning it around against you like someone does something nasty to you but then you call them out on it and then they turn it around as if oh you know they always have their reasons always reasons right i mean we always have there's always reasons but enough with the excuses kind of thing like you just can't you don't want oh no bueno Libra, not everything is made to be fixed. Some things just need to stay broken. Five of Wands, this is the third five, 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 and the Death card. Yeah, this situation where you're feeling someone is feeling constantly attacked and blamed and accused and um, manipulated and shamed to, to guilt everything they do is wrong everything they say you know like like someone is like really being guarded like trying to have someone else to just leave them alone someone needs to leave someone else alone and quiet and just let go of them like going through this is not right if someone is doing this to you libra like seriously will not let you go try to control you try to always talk you into something that you feel is wrong um trying to make you feel bad about how you are and what you are enough is enough the ripper is here you need to set yourself free of it Someone is really feeling, you know, that they need to protect themselves, defend themselves from something that, you know, this is not seemingly an attack. Like, it's not an attack. It's, it's not like an in-your-face type of an attack. It's, it's like a subtle, 
mystery. Something that it's hard to point a finger at and they will always find a way to kind of excuse why and how. And you know that it's wrong. You feel and you know in your bones and in your mind and in your heart, you know what they're doing is wrong. But for a while, maybe they've managed to make you feel like you're wrong, but like you're crazy, but no, you're just liberated. You know, you're, you're, you know yourself, you know yourself, Libra. Don't let anybody tell you that there's something wrong with your behavior just because they can't balance themselves. Okay. Step away. Enough is enough. You don't, you don't deserve this. Seriously. Um, there's a certain battle that is going to reach a culmination in October and it's going to end. And it's not going to be pretty necessarily now, you know, and it's, all sides are not necessarily going to leave happy. This could be a, a sad ending, you know, to something that just needs to end. This is seriously miserable. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry that this is the reading, but some of you need to hear this. And for those of you who don't resonate, guys, uh, speaking of, so the extended reading Towards the end of this reading, I will show you how your extended looks. I will also give you messages from the Divine Circle. Uh, <laughs> that's last month. I'm sorry. From the Akashic Tarot. Uh, messages from the Akashic t um, Records, which are inspiring and powerful. They're just amazing. Um, but in the extended, I take some of the cards in relation to the numerological aspect, like the repetitive numbers and the repetitive elements. And in the first part of the extended, I see the new narrative that comes from it. And then I clean the table and I do a complete new shuffle of a, of a Celtic cross. A uh, complete new reading. And also we finish up with messages from the rooms. So stay tuned whether you are resonating or not. There's more to come. Because I know this is very specific. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Yes, someone is really scared of losing something, losing either stability or losing something familiar um, or being unsafe. And someone else is playing on those, um, playing those keys of, of, if you're in a place that you're scared of losing your stability or your ground, um, the counterpart that we're talking about might be, you know, playing that, playing on those fears to either keep you around or get what they want. But again, there's no price to freedom. Whatever it is that you're worried about losing or being without um, the lesser evil, right? I'm sorry. Wow, well, I'm really sorry, Libra. This is uh, challenging messages. But let's keep going and let's make this better. I mean, I know how we need to make this better, okay? This needs to end. <laughs> um, yeah, there is a woman. I'm sorry, there is a feminine that is being really either. It could be ex to the to the point of the extreme aspect of it of borderline abused. It doesn't have to be physical, though it could be. <laughs> but it could also be um, emotional, um, energetic. Like where you're, someone is really losing their strength because of this, their energy, their, um, their mojo, their chi, their life force. No good. Mm -mm. It's the fourth five, by the way, because this is May. This could be Taurus. Um, oh, man. It's heavy. Okay, I have one, two, three, four fives. Okay, let, let's make this better, spirit cards. Let's see. More messages for Libra for October. If they get out of it, fearless, and just end the situation, what is ahead? Oh, see? See? Six of Pentacles, see? You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. You, you might feel a little bit like you're falling flat on your face, but you're going to six of pentacles. Look, help, money, luck, generosity. You're, 
you you have the ability, you have the resources, you have the people around you. You're good. And finally, we're breaking the cycle of the five, right? We're going to the six. Much more harmonious. Much more stable. Yeah. If someone is telling you that you can't handle things without them, that what will you do without them, all that? No, don't listen. You're going to be fine. Yeah, it's going to be challenging. Yeah, you're going to lose your alleged existing stability. But look, I ask what will be. If you do what's right for yourself and good. Okay, let's keep going. The sun. Oh, now this is a great shift. It's an ex it's literally an existential shift. Seriously. The sun, the sun is shining. You're totally going to find yourself, your pride, your independence, your joy, which you are so worthy of Libra. This is no, 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 no. I don't want to see you like this. I don't, I definitely don't. Look, this is the same person. See the way they're, she's sitting? They're sitting in the same position, except that here, she's, she's getting beat up. But here, look. She's blossoming and shining. She's safe. You, you see the marks here on her body? This is amazing. She went, this is her scars. It's what she went through, but now she's good. Or he's good. This could be a divine masculine, guys. Okay, you can if 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 you're a man watching this and you really resonate with this, then take it. Okay, but I just it, it's very clear that the characters here, like the women, go through hell. The men are abusive in this, in this. Okay, in this deck, in this narrative, and this. It's not, of course, it's not everybody. Come on, freedom. We started with knowing what it's like when you press play on this video, you already knew. You already knew that you need to liberate yourself. You already knew what should be right for you and what you're worthy of. But then you have to handle all this and I get it. But here's here's what awaits. Six of Pentacles and the Sun. This is good. I know this is scary. Change is scary. Change is scary. conclude before we go to the Akashic Records um, messages and see the extended. Let's conclude. What else? My magical Libra. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Page of Wands. Messages, positive messages. The Hierophant, the Queen of Wands, and the Tower. Okay, Missy. <laughs> you really need to own your power here. And be very selective with the messages that you're receiving very selective someone wants to offer you something to be with you to do for you to hang with you to whatever be work be romance whatever now you're being very selective and very accurate with who gets near you this energy unstable talkative destructive selfish energy no and the more you shine the more you rise up the more you leave the mess the more someone will try to leech back at your energy no hold your ground be very wise very mature look ahead and when you make that decision to shine and be awesome then someone worthy will be able to step into your realm. Make room. Mm. 
make room. And here you'll be stepping into yourself because here we had you as a queen of pentacles in the reverse, and this is Taurus, and the Hierophant is Taurus, and here the Taurus, the Hierophant, started here, now it's here. Well, well, no promises, no declarations, no hoo ha. I don't, we don't want to hear it real tangible things that makes you feel happy and not shaken to your core with fear and anxiety some of you might be you know feeling better and like progressing and then a message will come in from someone that will shake you to the core and make you wait what uh mm -hmm. what are they going through what am i going through Stay focused, stay in tune. Hmm. Okay. I feel like I want to clarify this a second longer. I want to clarify. Um, Page of Wands in the Tower, though, it's pretty obvious to me, and Queen of Wands with the Hierophant. So let's clarify Page of Wands with the Tower. Very, um, this is an individual that is really unreliable, that talks a really good game, but then destroys your life and, and escapes. You, you can't let it, you know, don't go back to that. Stay here. Let's clarify in case there's something I'm missing. Page of Wands and the Tower. Please clarify this for me. Two of Swords. Yeah. Nothing will change. This person is not going to change. They're going to stay in their victim mode. They're going to stay in the place of the try to blindfold you. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. 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 Bye. Let's clarify this. Queen of Wands and the Hierophant. Let's clarify the Queen of Wands and the Hierophant. Please clarify for Libra. Four of Pentacles. Okay, there's still a bit of fear and holding on to the known. So, okay, I'm feeling like maybe a good friend or, or a consultant or um, a spiritual guide someone who can help you through this, someone you can talk with every time you're tempted to go back to whatever it was that wasn't working for you. Try to talk to this person, you know, because the fear is real in you. You're scared to be without, you're scared to lose, you're scared, you really want to hold on to the known. You still don't properly acknowledge how divine you are. See, instinctively, you're leaning towards back this. But your head and heart already know the truth, that you're so much more worthy, okay? So every time you feel a little bit like you talk to this person or, you know, reach out. There's something else I need to see here. What else? The hermit. Yeah, there, there's either... Um, Again, either a more mature friend, someone wise, someone experienced, someone very teacher-oriented, because the Hermit and the Hierophant are very um, teacher-like, okay? So this could be a spiritual coach, um, or a more mature friend, or a family member um, that you can just reach out to. And, you know, take your time, be patient with yourself. Better be alone and regaining your strength and owning up your strength than being with someone who causes such mayhem. Okay, um, let's look at your extended and then we'll go to the Akashic Tarot, okay? So this is what I'm going to do. 
Um, we only have one three, and one six. Actually, there's five, six, seven pentacles we're going to address because of the element that is repetitive. Uh, oh, four, five, six. Hmm. And this goes back to the deck. Let's go back. Mm. Sorry, it will take me a second and I will. Two queens. And one page. All the fives. Ooh, a lot of fives. This is also a five. One, two, three, four, five. Five fives. <laughs> and then we have the major arcanas. Okay, so chronologically, because we're doing numerology and we care about the number, the value of the number, so 0, 9, 13, 16, 19. And technically, the hierophant needs to be here. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to leave all the fives to the end because I need to take a five from here, a five from here, a five from here, and attach it here. Um, so we're going to read this, this, these majors, and all the fives. Now, okay, take a good look. Great. This is just the first part of the extended. The second part is I'm cleaning the table, doing a new shuffle, and we're doing a Celtic cross. Um, uh, so if you didn't resonate, the Celtic cross can be can bring something completely different. And this, what we just saw from the numerological and elemental aspect, um, just different stuff coming up from the same cards. Just a different way of looking at them. So it can also bring other things or added things. And then message from the rooms. Okay, great. If I haven't thanked you yet uh, for your subscriptions and your comments and your likes, then thank you. I read all your comments. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, feel free if you enjoyed this reading uh, and join the Existential Shift. Um, love to have you on this journey. Super excited for our uh, October 10th Q&A live chat. Okay. Did I mention Tarot Masterclass? I teach Tarot. Link to Tara Masterclass below. Link to your extended reading below. Uh, my email and the description of my services, my special services for October of private readings is also below. And, okay. Message for Libra. Sun, moon, rising. Yeah, feel free to watch your other placement for broader picture. Uh, feel free to go back to your September read to learn from past energies, what you went through already and you have the, pers the perspective now and connect the dots between what you know that has happened and the advice that was given. That's how we grow. Libra for October. Libra for October. Message for Libra. For October. Oh, this one really wanted to come out. Um, winged messengers, two of roses. I'll let you look at this for a second because it's absolutely gorgeous. You have the birds and the angel. Two chairs. Okay. All right. Let's read. Story time. Oh, this is really pretty. Two of roses. Winged messengers. A white dove carries a message in his beak and flies high above a table laid out for tea. One of the teacups has fallen over and there are broken pieces of china on the table. Below the dove, the dove, a hawk flies into the scene with a message in his, in his beak. This card indicates a small conflict in your home or family. It could involve you and another or others in your extended family. 
There could be money issues about the home and inheritance or personal finances. This actually really fits the cards on the table. The dove brings a message from your spirit, a call to see this little drama through your higher mind and compassionate heart. You may feel compelled to be the peacemaker or the provider in the situation. Aham, uh aham, -huh, uh -huh, Libra. <laughs> Let yourself do as your spirit guides you. The hawk, a predator, shows that there are times when you might have a tendency to be pulled into fray yourself. With the hawk entering from the right, it certainly indicates that more challenges may be coming your way. Happily, your spirit is high above those challenges so you can see them clearly and deal with them effectively. Special note. Whatever this card, whenever this, whether this card is upright or reverse, you can gain further insight from a neighbor, neighboring card. Oh, it's not as relevant. I don't have another card. But, guys, this is really resonating with the reading. Like, we know the conflict, right? We know the situation with your partner, with your family members, whatever. Let's set it, let's, let's set you free of it, huh? Okay. All right, guys. I love you much. There is the sun. That's conclusion for the reading. So all good. You got this. We got this. Um, I'll see you in a second in the extended. And regardless, I will see you in November readings. Happy Halloween. I'm going to try and dress up for the Halloween readings for the end of, for the end of October readings. Um, I don't know if I'll do it. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, see you in a second, the extended. Love you guys.